Hi everyone, welcome to Toggle Switches. Okay, we're gonna do a little micro interaction. We're gonna combine our skills from animation plus some of the things like states. Remember that toggle state we did for this one? Okay, we're gonna combine the animation and do a cool little toggle switch. It's a rite of passage as a UX designer. So sit back, relax, and let's get all toggly. Okay, so now we're basically combining two different things we've done. We've done the toggle option okay like with this little button here remember we did a state and it has a toggle option okay and we're going to add some of our animation that we've learnt. okay and the difference between this animation and the animation we're going to do is that it happens within the component it doesn't go from artboard to artboard you need this because we need the timing okay whereas uh, micro interaction is just a small little animation that happens within a component so let's build it. Let's just build something really quick and not good to start with. Um, we won't worry about the design points. We'll get the mechanics going and then we'll make it look pretty at the end. So rectangle tool, make the outside corners round. Uh, some sort of pill shape. Um, circle tool, hold shift, give it a fill color. Okay, so that's kind of all we need. I'm going to select both of them convert it into a component, Command K or click that button. Okay, and what we need here is we need one state, we need another state, just like we did before. Okay, we did the toggle, like the little radio button we just saw. Okay, and we're gonna have a on state. Okay, and all we do is we go in, make sure we're on on, double click it to go inside and do something different. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna default to the auto animate animation and let's give it a go. So actually, let's, no, let's just preview it first. So we can't really preview him because he's not on an artboard. So let's stick him on something. I'm gonna make this bigger. We build on artboards, people. There we go. My giant toggle switch, my giant. Okay, so let's go and preview it. There it is here, watch. Cool, huh? Hey, it's such a cool feeling making things like this <laughs> work. It was just two boring old shapes and look at what we did. Okay, uh, so yeah, that is how to do the toggle switch. Um, so yeah, that's a rite of passage. You have to build this toggle switch as a UX designer. Doesn't even, you don't even need it, okay? It's very rare that I need a toggle switch other than teaching new UX designers how to build a toggle switch. But it's a really good micro interaction. It's a really good clear what's happening. We can make it clearer. So let's make it more micro interaction-y. Okay, so we're gonna go in and style it. Now, what is easier is where you style it before you turn it into a component. We'll do something now, and while it is a component, just to adjust it, and then I'll just show you the normal way of doing it. So let's go inside of it. Let's decide on which um, state we wanna be on. Do we wanna be adjusting this state or this state? Let's do this one first. And what we're gonna do is maybe make it uh, the kind of dull, let's make it off. And <laughs> use the international off color, okay, which is gonna be red, disabled, something like that. It's generally either gray, okay, or red. We use red because it looks fancy. And I clearly don't like red, I'm going for some sort of not red. Okay, so we've got this first one, and then on the on state over here, okay, remember it will be the same on both sides of our auto animate unless we change it, okay? So at the moment we've updated our default state and it's not different on the on, so it's gonna uh, stay red. Over here though, we're gonna say actually now you're gonna be green. Let's go for a bright green. Oh, too bright. Okay, and now let's preview it. Click on it, play button, where are you? On, off, on, off. Why did it start green? Do you know? Oh, you do. You remember, it's because we left it. What if you leave this on, remember? That's the starting point. Okay, so we're gonna assume that it's off and turn it on to be green. Cool. Okay, so let's get even fancier with the animation. Okay, so it's added some default stuff and you might not like it. So where do you adjust the like easing? Do you remember? Where would you go? Have a think. Where would you go now if you were left to it? I'll select it. Mm, nope, you go to prototype. Okay, and you see this like little, I'm going nowhere. Okay, so it has got the default state, has a tap, which is what I want. Okay, and it's auto animating, which is perfect. Destination, it's going to the on state. Okay, and what kind of easing? It's easing out. Okay, I'm gonna do in and out. Okay, and let's preview it. Let's have a look. In and out. It just looks nicer in my opinion. Okay, it means it starts slow and ends slow and goes faster in the middle. Now the one thing is, it's hard to notice in that one. Let's make it the crazy bounce. Okay, and preview it. What ends up happening is, watch this. 
boing, and then the back one, huh, why is it not going back the other way? Okay, so you've just got to remember that you've got these two states. So at the moment we've got the default state and it's auto animating with bounce, but if I click on on, can you see, it's all changing. Okay, it's using the ease out. So if you want to do it on both of them, there you go. Boop, boop. <laughs> Old mechanical switch, feels like. Okay, in terms of the style. Now, I'll just give you some basics because I want to introduce something. Um, I also want to show you the, the kind of normal way that I do it. So what I would generally do is not do all this on state stuff. You can delete a state and just go back to this first one. Okay, actually go to design. So I've still got my state. It's still a component. It's still poorly named. So we're going to have button toggle. So it doesn't really matter whether you are styling it before you make a component, but just before you add all the states because it I don't know, makes it tricky to go and edit them all to make them match. Because I'm going to do lots of changes. So I'm double clicking to go inside of it. I'm holding shift and scaling it up. I'm going to, what I want to show you is you get bonus points if you do an inner shadow. Okay, so I got my inner shadow here. Um, actually, I'm going to give a fill color of what? That interface color? Kind of a, I don't know, old Windows color that goes in there. There's no rules on what you can do for this. Okay. If you are designing for, say, Android or Apple phones, okay, and you're using their operating system, often you can't change these toggle switches, the default, okay, so you might just copy and paste from one of the UI kits from uh, Apple, iOS they call it, or uh, Google call it Google Material. You just copy and paste them out here. We, though, want to do our own custom buttons because we're awesome. Uh, so I'm doing an inner shadow, you can see there. And so this is X and Y is how far down from the top. Okay, and how in from the right it is. And B is the blur. So this little option here is how dark it is. So I'm gonna use the black, this is the transparency. You can have it in a shadow of red, I don't want that. Okay, and you can decide on how dark this thing is. So I'm gonna get it like this, and then I'm gonna go, how blurry? I'm using my arrow keys to move up and down, you about there, about there. Something like that. Okay, and get rid of the border. Kind of need the border. This one here, we're going to add a drop shadow too. Because, why? Just because. Uh, blurry down as well. Maybe two. And maybe this just needs to be one and one. Maybe a little bit darker. So you can see, you can mess around for a long time before you make the next state to try and make it nicer. And I might make mine just a plain old, like that. All right, so now I can add my extra state. <laughs> Is that pretty? <laughs> no. Uh, we're gonna have our on state, okay? And this one is gonna have the micro interaction of going over here. It will go green. Actually, instead of going green, we could make the background go green. So the background color is gonna go like a positive uh, color. We'll find a good green. And maybe we'll make this go white. There you go. So remember, our initial state's going to be off. Let's give it a preview. Is it any good? <laughs> Come on. Ah, looks kind of cool. So you can see the inner shadow thing kind of works differently from far back. So it's good to have this thing open. I have it open on another screen. You can't see that screen, but just so when I'm designing really close in, so watch this. Well, you pretend that it's on another screen. So I can go in here and say, actually, you know, I can start messing with the shadow and be seeing a really far away version. Even better if you've got it on your phone because then you can kind of touch it as you're going. Bloop, bloop. And the other thing I want to share with you is we looked at it way earlier in the course was responsive resize. So it doesn't happen when it's a regular shape, but when it is a component like this, watch this, if I go, actually it's too big, I'm gonna make it smaller. Holding shift, okay, and scale it down. It, what are you doing? It does some weird stuff. Okay, it's because that gets turned on when it's a component. It's trying to be fancy where you can do this, okay? And that's great, kind of, <laughs> okay? Readjusting buttons, so we've loved it so far, but for this thing, we wanna scale it all proportionately, it's doing some weird stuff. So you can turn it off, okay? Then hold shift and scale it down the kind of regular way. You'll notice that the um, inner shadow, can you see, is staying the same, so you'll have to adjust that. And you can turn responsive resize back on once it's small, okay, and make your adjustments like you did before. 
but that's just a reminder when you are doing components, they get this re re you know, responsive resize turned on. All right, sweet toggle. Uh, go make your toggle, be part of the UX design community. There's checks at design conferences to make sure that you've done your toggle switch. They'll check it at the door. <laughs> so make sure, make your toggle switch. I'm gonna make you do a toggle switch in a couple of lessons. Gave you a class practice. So practice now and you'll be making one for sure in a little bit. All right, that is it. Toggle switch is over. Hi there, my name is Dan Scott. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna go further with Adobe XD, there is, I have a full course, there'll be a link in the description, it's called Adobe XD Essentials, there'll be a card up here you can click as well. Uh, but yeah, carry on with your day, enjoy, and I might see you in the full course.